Hello, YouTube. Levi666 here with another Magic the Gathering deck tech. And if you watched my Pure Steel deck before this, I must apologize. I did forget to talk about my land. I talked about everything on that deck uh, except for the land. And uh, this the land base there is 18 planes and 4 Ink Moth Nexus. Now I told you that, now we can move on to this deck. This deck is an an infect deck that I built when a lot of these cards were still legal. Um, once Eldrazi uh, pretty much went out of type, that kind of ruined the flow and the speed of this deck. Uh, so I modified it a little bit more. I threw in some some Rancors, which are way out of type in here, just to sort of make it fun. So I don't know if it would be a standard deck or a legacy deck or what it would be now. Maybe you can tell me. Leave me a comment. Uh, but I'll dive in here and we'll first I'll start with the land base so I don't forget. Running four Ink Moth Nexus. Infect is an infect without an Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, because this is all white and green, which is kind of different for infect, I'm running uh, four Sun Petal Groves. We do have seven mountains, five planes. Creature base four Glistener Elves, four. Lost Leonin, and four Priests of Norn. Also have four Ickerclaw Mirror, and four Necropede. Uh, moving on to the spells, we have four Emerge and Scathed. Uh, these are good for two reasons. Uh, protection from color, if something's going to get burned uh, while it's attacking and you need uh, protection real quick. And also protection from blocking creatures. Uh, if they have monocolored blocking creatures, just choose protection from that color. And there you go, you're getting your damage through. And you'll see how vital that is when I move on to the rest of these spells. Running four Vines of Asswood, you always play this kicked. Unless it's an emergency and you're trying to save one of your creatures. Because it cannot be the target of spells or abilities. Uh, four Titanic Growth, which came out of M12, uh, which was pretty much when I stopped playing this, but I threw those in just for fun here, because it's a nice plus four. Uh, also running four Giant Growths, the mini Titanic, <laughs> kind of a, what was a basic for so long in the game. Uh, running the three Rancors. Uh, normally I don't like enchantments, but this is a reoccurring enchantment uh, when it's put into the graveyard. Bam, back to my hand, one mana cost for trample. Uh, so you need it so bad in this, uh, especially if someone's got like some creatures out, you need your poison damage getting through. Last, uh, two Mirren Metals. Uh, the Metalcraft plus four plus four doesn't actually happen very often. Uh, you know, you'll end up with like an Icker Claw or a Necropede, and then you'll, you know, make an Ink Moth just to use the plus four, and, and that does tie up some of your your mana, uh, as far as speed goes, um, but if I get lucky and I got a couple necro, if I just drew all artifact creatures and, you know, a couple Mirren Metals and, and, uh, a Rancor, Vines, uh, usually I'm pretty much set. Uh, so go ahead guys, uh, tell me what you think about this, uh, maybe you have some ideas to modify it and to bring it back into standard so I can play this at my FNM again. Uh, let me know what you think. Later. Peace.